I totally remember about two months ago during Gnome 41 Alpha or something similar, I was literally telling everyone, Gnome 48 has got to be one of the quietest development cycles I can remember in forever. And then, boom! Explosion of features. Um, I think they started using AI. For starters, the patches for global shortcuts are on GNOME XGG Portal, on Settings Daemon, in Mutter, and of course on Settings. Everything is on main, and everything will be available in GNOME 48 in a couple of weeks. Alrighty then, let me show you how it works, and I'm going to demo it on one of my absolute favorite apps, GPU Screen Recorder. It's the one I use for all my screencasts. But it's also an app that makes perfect sense to have global shortcuts, so you can start, pause, and resume your screen recording without even focusing on it. Makes total sense, right, squad? But before we do that, I also want to show you the new UI of GPU Screen Recorder. Though, to be honest, I'm not exactly its biggest fan, but let's check it out anyway. Because it kind of sort of relates to global shortcuts, somehow. So the new UI is inspired by NVIDIA's Shadow Play. It's built with a custom toolkit just for it, and it runs quietly in the background only revealing itself when you actually need it. But the reason it actually relates here is that one of its main objectives was adding hotkey support for Wayland compositors, aka global shortcuts. When we activate it, it throws up a dialog saying it needs root privileges to make the shortcuts work with any compositor. Plus, the recorder is now running in the background, and perhaps that's why they went with a custom toolkit so it can be ultra lightweight and super fast. Four digit extra secure password entered. <laughs> hmm. And now Shadowplay is already running, but since I don't remember the shortcut, I'll summon it like that. There we go, squad. That's all there is to it. And those are our recording settings. But I'm not sure why I don't like it. Maybe I just need to give it some time to get used to it, because eventually I'll have to switch anyway. That's the UI that gets all the updates. Anyway, let's go old school for now. Oh, by the way, the old UI is made with Qt, which is obviously one strong reason to switch to the new one. <laughs> Quickly restarting it. Because sometimes the shortcuts portal gets stuck when switching between UIs. Okay, Chief, let's go to record first. And here we have the shortcuts input, which, until now, wouldn't work. Nope, nope. Not in GNOME Shell, at least. But now, it works. And that's the Flatpak Portal menu for you. We can set new shortcuts from here, but wait. That's not the only thing GNOME did for you. Nope, nope, there's more. <laughs> so if we open settings, um, and then head over to the um, GPU screen recorder panel, we'll find a brand new global shortcuts option that it's only available for apps that actually use global shortcuts. And from here, we can initiate the shortcuts portal again, just like earlier, and we can easily remove all shortcuts or assign new ones exactly like before. So let's actually test it out and set control alt and r to start stop the recorder, all right squad? We can see the new shortcuts are already set, so all we need to do is try them out. Let me bring Ghosty down here. So now, with the focus on Ghosty, when we press control alt and r to start the recorder, um we see nothing happens. Oh well, I told you, didn't I? GNOME developers use AI for doing features that fast, and AI isn't that good, just yet. But when it is, we won't need GNOME developers at all. Ugh, the irony. 